Hello to the Rampai Quarantine. Today we're going to make something interesting. Okay. Mm. Okay, first of all, let's imagine something. So, you're a Rampai programmer and you have this um, writer. This writer gives you all these assets, okay? You can see this asset right here. This is all of it. We have written the dialogues, the credits, all of it. <laughs> and we have to make that into a visual novel. So I think it's going to be pretty fun. And he has an interesting outlandish idea, which we're going to get into in a second. First though, what should we do first? <laughs> first, uh, let me ask you. Stream delay over. <laughs> let's, uh, let's see. Um, a question first. A warm-up question, I suppose. What would you do first when you want to start up a project? <clears throat> but I think <laughs> I think the delay is around five seconds. We'll see about that one. But this feature, uh, this live stream will be uh, will be saved, and uh, people from the future can watch this. Hopefully, this can help people <laughs> to learn Rampy and so on. Okay, while waiting, <laughs> by the way, this, uh, this whole asset is, I have, I have the permission and also give the credit, which is going to be inside here. I'm going to get to it later. <clears throat> so yeah, it's going to be cool. If you don't, I'm really shaking here. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited. Make the fold. Uh, Tim said, "Make the project folder for I say." You're right. You're actually really right. You should create new project first. <laughs> All right. The name, though, I think I think we'll just go with Rampy, Rampy, um, Rampy Quarantine. Okay. The size is 720 because i like 720 but you guys can do whatever aspect you want about the color let's go with blue i like blue <laughs> this is this is just totally my taste i don't know about the writer of this <laughs> once but we will just go with blue okay creating new projects this will take a bit but it sure will be nice <laughs> Not responding. Oh no, <laughs> Rampai. <laughs> okay, it's working. Okay, Rampai quarantine right here. Nice. Let's look at the game folder, the project folder, and you can see there's Rampai quarantine, and we can double click and get to the game folder. Really cool. Okay, what I'll do next is import all these stuff, all these assets into the project file so let's do that image put all the image here uh this that well the choice hover and stuff will come in handy later <laughs> we will see okay and then copy paste this into not ui copy paste this into image and there you go uh let's get the few too large large icons if we can I guess this is good enough okay for for music though like sound effects and everything including font uh, we will put it outside the, the image folder which is right here okay I think that's the most I think that's all of it let me double check yeah that's all okay so let me give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> Today we will just be talking about a little bit of screen language and mostly about brand pie scripts. Also, this is made this one, which is so cool. <laughs> so we know that there are four languages in brand pie and we're just going to talk mostly uh, brand pie script and a bit of screen language. Okay. So let's pop into Rampy Launcher and actually 
Let's open the dialogues first. <laughs> Let's open the dialogues. I'm a bit curious. So, huh, okay. If you don't know, this, this uh, dialogue text is probably the most ideal thing you can ever imagine. Why? Because you can just copy paste the whole thing and you can just modify it later. This is really good. So let's open script file, script file here, and we're gonna delete everything because we don't need this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now we are going to copy paste everything in the dialogue. And there you go. Nice. Okay. ATL is the true MPP. <laughs> yeah, I am true. We're not going for ATL though today, so <laughs> we will save that for later maybe. Maybe. Okay. We will define N first. We're gonna define a character because every single dialogue carrier has the N word in <laughs> there. Nothing nothing weird, okay? It's N for Nitori. Okay, let's define it. Uh define N. And that's going to be a character. Nice. I like this. And the name will be Nitori. Yay. And apparently this uh, writer also put a color code. Okay, we're gonna copy paste this. Copy paste the color code and make a color. So so this character name will have a color and that color is going to be this. <laughs> Which is, if you don't know, uh, it's about like greenish blue. Greenish blue. All right. Let's make a label. Label start. This is where all the dialogues will be put. And we can play this later on. Okay. The writer is very kind. <laughs> he put all of this stuff. <laughs> this hashtag N1, N2. And if you don't know, this is related to the image. Uh, oops, here. The image that he provided us. This is the N1, N2, N3, N4, and you can see it. This is the N1, which is Nitori smiling right here, very nice. This is N2, with O mouth, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> N3, uh, yeah, you can sort of make up what this is about. Okay, N5 is mad, she's mad, and N6 is mad with a little bit of a eye. <laughs> <laughs> With a bit of eye modification. Alright. <clears throat> so now we can just delete the hashtag and just put show. What this does is we show the image into the game. And you can we can do this for every single thing. I'm just gonna copy paste this so we can do it faster. Um my shaking, my hand is shaking. Wow, this is great. <laughs> Okay. Oh, by the way, you can ask questions, uh, and I'm going to get there later on. We will have a, a a specific time where I'm going to answer the questions, so you can keep them piling up. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Okay, double check, double check. You gotta make sure you double check everything. Alright, <clears throat> this is done. You can say hello and hello. <laughs> I'm speaking to your player. Uh -huh. Sorry for my rudeness, Nitori, and welcome to this beautiful game. And I got some questions for you. Please answer correctly. You can always take your time, of course. First question, a warm up one. Why is 1 plus 1 equals? Okay, we got choices 1, 2, 3, 4, but this is not the way you should write it, by the way. You should write it with quote. And then, um, because this one is wrong, and you know that the correct one is apparently fish, I'm going to explain that later. <laughs> Why the correct one is fish? I'm gonna get that later. Let's let's jump the player, jump it to a label called um, false underscore one. Very simple, I guess. Very simple, I guess you know what that means. That means it's wrong. <laughs> Jump false underscore one. So all uh, underscore one. All of this 
except fish will jump us into false underscore one. So this will jump into true, true underscore one. And 11 is also wrong, unfortunately, even though <laughs> even though it's kind of right, but no, it's not. Jump false underscore one. <laughs> okay, let, let me explain why fish is correct. <laughs> I think it's probably silly, very very silly. So you got this one, and then plus, and then one, and then you put equals here, and you become fish. You can get the nine here and it's smiley face. <laughs> it's very very cute. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's a fish. <laughs> undo undo undo. Right, <laughs> it's a fish. Okay, now let's make a label. This will be the label false, false underscore one. And upon entering this label, Nitori will shout at us wrong. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make the label uh, label true underscore one. And then apparently this is not so ideal because you still have to back to do, do some backspace every now and then. Okay, we're gonna make another label. Label second question, I'm gonna put it as question, okay? It's going to be as question. So after you got this wrong, because uh, Nitori said wrong, but that's fine, so she doesn't mind it. Okay, that's cool. We're gonna jump the player to as question, which is the second question. Question. And also a true one, sure. We're gonna jump it into S question. Okay, so either you go false or true, you're also in S question. So let's continue reading. Now, oh, let's read from true first, yeah? Okay, correct. I see you're pretty creative. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> next up, on S question. Now, on this next question, I want to, to click, unquote. <laughs> There's something wrong here, this is not ideal. Cor you gotta click correct 10 times. And then no, this is a mod. And we proceed to showing the troll button, which we're going to get to in a very quick way <laughs> later on. So the problem is, what's going on here? This is not supposed to be like this, right? This is supposed to be green, but this is just gray. So how do you fix this? The way you do it is actually extremely simple. Very simple, you just put back backslash <laughs> and we're done backslash for the win backslash is cool you can make a lot of cool stuff with backslash but in this case you can just ignore the quote so you can put the correct in one sentence okay uh now show the troll button oh boy okay now this is going to be to be the the main stuff here, the main the main topic of today's live stream. But before that, let me go and fetch some questions. So Tim asks, is there an advantage of using a choice instead of many? Oh, oh! <laughs> I done goof. Actually, it's, in this sense, it's wrong. This is not going to work. This will crash the game. <laughs> it has to be menu, by the way. It has to be menu. Think your choice is. Uh, for ATL actually is going to be for ATL, which we're not going to do. We're not going to talk about that today In ATL if you put choice It makes the computer or the application the RenPy uh, choose either one or two things of Things that you give for example, I don't think I should give an example because this is it's not about that <laughs> But let's say something like this, okay? Let's say uh, show image, okay? Very simple, show image, whatever. And then we have an ATL going on. Uh, blah blah blah. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's put ATL stuff going on. ATL stuffs. And then we're going to put choice here. First one, let's say we want to move the player or move the image into, uh, let's say x equals two, okay? And then choice. Uh, choice x equals 1. So pretty much what it does, 
uh, rank 5 will either choose x equals 2 or x equals 1. So this is totally random. You can say this is the RNG <laughs> of rank 5. This can, this can come in handy if you want to make some background with randomness in there. So it's really cool. But apparently we're not talking about ATL, so we're not going to use that. Okay, now let's go to this show troll button. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put it up here. Honestly, you can put it anywhere. You can put it on screen.rpy or ui.rpy. Anywhere you want. What this does, we're going to make a scream. Scream. Hold on, I'm gonna drink first. <clears throat> okay, first of all, actually, you probably don't know what this troll, troll button is supposed to do, right? Okay, let's do this. So, um, in the troll point, this writer also gives the um, the rough picture of what the troll troll button is supposed to do, and this is what that person gave us. So. You want to click correct ten, nine times, okay, nine times, and then last one will be switched. You see, this is correct one on top, and on the last one, it will switch to incorrect, and also the incorrect will become correct. So this is going to be interesting. So you, so once you click nine times, it will switch. Okay, let's do that. Uh, because you have to click nine times up to 10 times, or, or uh, 0 to 10 times, we're going to define uh, define a variable, a dynam dynamic variable, variable that we can change. So we're going to go with default, default button pressed. This is, oops, button pressed. Button press equals 0. OK, this is just a defining a variable, very simple. You can go like uh, many ways, but I I will go with default because we want to change the button press variable later. Okay, now let's make the screen. The screen will be um let's call it troll button. <laughs> Very creative, huh? <laughs> let's put a bracket here for optimization purposes. Uh, you can see you can probably search around why you have to put a bracket at the end. But it's a long, it's a long explanation, so I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> okay, so first of all, we need to button, right. We need to display a button which we have right here: choice hover and choice idle. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, I think there's a good way to do this. But first, we have to put if if button pressed is less than 9. I'll explain what this does later on. We're gonna show the button. Image button. Button. Oops. Uh, when it's idling, we gonna, we're going to put a uh, choice idle. We're just gonna copy paste. Because <laughs> why not? I think you're supposed to... Yeah, I think let's go with that for now. If there's a bug, we're going to troubleshoot it on stream, so it's going to be fun. When you hover it, it will change to this image, which is choice hover. I can't... <laughs> okay, there you go. Choice hover. Okay. What this does, when you click on the button, it will make the button press variable up to 1. So you add it by 1 each time you click it. So let's put an action here. We're gonna put. Uh, actually, you may be wondering, what is the proper, proper action here to use? Here's what I have. <laughs> it's for later. Okay, set variable name and true uh, value. What it does is set value of what variable and to what value. <laughs> okay, let's do that. So set variable. The variable is called button pressed. Okay, and then what we will do to it 
we're going to make the button pressed button pressed plus one yeah I think that's very simple <laughs> so each time you click on it the button press variable will be added by one each time you click it okay I think that's enough and yeah this is just image just the image of button by the way there's nothing there's no text whatsoever so let's put a text let's put a text uh put a text uh correct <clears throat> okay you may be you may be wondering okay we put an image you put a text but where would it be where would it be would it be on top left would it be on center well, we want it to be on middle, right? So, like, if I if I have the image again, <laughs> where is it? The image where it's supposed to? There it is. It's uh loading. It's loading. Okay, it's in the middle, middle, a bit up here. So okay, let's do that. First of all, we're going to put a line, which is the coordinate around like the relative coordinate. A uh, line should be like x and y. Okay, so in this case, we want it to be on 0 0.5, which is in the middle, in the middle, and a bit up. Let me explain it a bit. So this is a screen, wonderfully drawn screen here. here. <laughs> so the x line, oof, that's a very <laughs> x line, uh, line I can't spell. It's from this is the uh, left to right this is from 0, 0 0.0 to 1.0 so if we put 0 yeah, i'm pretty sure it's not <laughs> a line okay so uh okay let's let's rearrange that it's supposed to be a line not a lie a lie <laughs> okay a line. 0 0.5 is around here so we're going to put the image at in at the center and we're going to put white line, line. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, top to bottom, this is starting from zero, from zero point zero. This is from uh, to one point one. We want it to be round at the center and a bit of up. So we're going to put it on zero point four five, something like this. Okay, let's do that. Zero point four five. And we're going to do the same thing on the text. We're gonna put a line here. You can copy paste this. I'm just gonna write it down because small, small stuff. Okay, we have officially made the first button. Cool. Okay, let's make the second button, which is the incorrect. We, let's make the image button again. Honestly, you can, actually you can just uh, copy paste this. You don't need to, you don't need to rewrite it. Very simple. There you go. Image button, choice idle, and hover. The problem with this, well, we don't want to make the button press variable up by one because you say it incorrect. We should just probably jump the player to incorrect. So you may be wondering, what is the screen uh, screen language screen action for that? Actually. <laughs> Uh, let's let's just let's just say it's jump. Okay, I don't I unfortunately don't have the. Actually, you know what? You know what? Now that I think about it, let's just find it. <laughs> jump. Wait, where is it? Where is it? There you go, jump. Okay. <laughs> now you just put jump with big G, and then put the label in there. Causes a control transfer to label. All right. Jump. We're gonna make the player jump to label called uh, false underscore two, which is the second false. Okay, and of course, rename this to incorrect. You gotta make sure. Okay. This is actually pretty much complete <laughs> for, for the first part. Okay, now let's put else. So this is when okay let me explain about button press first so you start off from button press equal zero so you start from zero so what this does is trend will show this thing this thing 
because button press is zero. So you up by one, I edit by one, edit by one until you reach eight. Okay, reach eight. When you reach eight, you'll still get this. Okay, you'll still get this. You click on it, so you upgrade, you edit it by one. So at the end result, you have button press equals nine. And when button press equals nine, we're going to switch. Okay, we're going to switch the button here. Okay, let's actually copy paste it again. <laughs> okay, the same thing but different. Okay, it's gonna be incorrect. And we're gonna uh, do this thing too. We're gonna copy paste this. We're gonna switch. There is gonna be the correct one. Okay. The the last thing though, we're going to make also people we're gonna make the player jump, okay? We're gonna make the jump to true underscore two. We're going to make the label very soon. Okay. Hope you understand this. <laughs> okay. Of course there will be a problem. I'm going to address that later on. We're gonna get back to this later, so hang in tight. Hang on tight. <laughs> Oops. Let's make the label. Label false underscore two. Let's align this correctly. We're gonna put the bat end later. This can come in handy. Label true underscore two. Like so. There you go. Honestly, we're done. Not really. <laughs> There's still more things to go. Uh, show button. We haven't shown the troll button yet. Yeah, let's show that. Okay. Let's show it. Uh, actually, a little side note. Um, image and screen acts almost relatively the same way, actually. So you can just show and then screen. We show screen the, the the troll button. I forgot the name. Troll button, exactly. <laughs> troll button right here. I believe that's how you do it. Actually, no. Um, probably without the quote. Show troll button, and this will show it. And once that's done, we're going to put. We're gonna hide it. Actually, we're gonna hide the screen. We're gonna hide screen. Hide screen troll button. And we're gonna do the same thing on the true underscore two. There you go. The problem, if you don't know, if you have if you have a metal if you have metal around with with image, you know that if we have clicked this, you know no no is a must. And then you click a space or click enter or click left mouse, it'll immediately jump past two. Ah, what a shame! <laughs> because this acts similarly very identically to image so this will show it and immediately hide it <laughs> so we gotta put pause here we're gonna pause it so the player can see the button okay i think that's about it actually uh let me let me double check let's double check because why not okay let's launch it let's give it a shot by the way you're, you're still up you're still very Feel free, feel free to um, ask some questions if you have one or two. Here it is. Sorry, hello, hello. You can see the color here is the way we want it. Okay, but as you can see, it's still very. Wait, well, hold on. Let me go to preference, text speed to low, so we can see the the <clears throat> the CPS going on. There you go. But as you can see, there's a problem. If you don't notice it yet, this character hasn't changed a face ever since. <laughs> of course, you can go face here. Correct, for your creative. We're going to get this soon. Incorrect. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Something is wrong. <laughs> okay, let's debug this. So if you don't know what is going on, uh, we forgot to put <laughs> to put uh, the line. <laughs> we forgot to do that. So let's do a line here. Um, the incorrect will be below, as you can see here, we're going to make it below here, below the correct. So if you make it around here, it's around 0 
I can't write <laughs> 0.55 there around here. This is where it's supposed to. And let's do that 0 0.55 hmm. uh, to every single one of these. <laughs> Hello, Mike. <laughs> okay. Uh, the incorrect will be like this. The correct one will be 0 0.55. There you go. Oops. Oof. Oof. Okay. Zero point. Okay. There you go. And double check. Double check. Yeah. It works. It should work. Let me. Let me. Um, reload. And there you go. It works. Of course, you can click. Is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and it switched. This is so cool. And you can click correct again, and it. Jump past to whoa! You saw that coming, don't you? There you go. It works. Super cool. <laughs> of course, of course, though. Don't get too excited. There is a bug. We don't notice it yet. This face hasn't changed for a while. <laughs> this face is like this for an entire time. So we gotta fix this. What's going on? Let's fix this. <clears throat> so. Let me ask you a question. Can you guess what's wrong here? What what causes this to bug out? Why what why this Nitri face doesn't change? <laughs> I'll give you time to ponder what what is happening <laughs> right now. <clears throat> okay. I'll give you time. Feel free to leave some comments down below. <laughs> no, on the live chat, sorry. <clears throat> okay. Um, <laughs> I think we can I can I can I can delete this now. <laughs> We're done with dialects. We're gonna get the credit then later on soon. Okay. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Maybe the images are undefined. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's have another question. Mike, do you have an answer? <clears throat> or a guess? Tim, you guessed it. Mm, pretty well, actually. Mm. Not, 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 not correct, but it's good guess. It's a good guess. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> How long has the live stream been? Uh, I think around thirty minutes. Cool. <clears throat> okay, let's. Uh, Mike hasn't answered yet. I guess I'll just continue. Okay, let me give you the answer. <laughs> if you notice, like show n1, show n2, show n5, show n4, and then show n1 again, if you don't notice it, we're showing the same image without making it disappear. We're showing it again. <laughs> It's like we're overlapping images. We have this show one and then show two and then show uh, I mean n one and two and five and, and four. They overlap each other. <laughs> they all just overlap each other. If you have like a bundle of a bundle of image and you just show each and every one of them, it will get stacked up so so dense. <laughs> Unfortunately, you cannot notice it because the image has the same shape, the same color, so you don't notice it. But yeah, that's what happened apparently. This image overlap each other. And that's the main problem. <clears throat> there are many things you can go with this, of course. You can just like hide, hide N1 or something. You can. You can just N1, hide N1, hide N2 later on around here, hide N2. You can, but it's going to get really, really long. If you have like really, really long text with a lot of 
expression changes. This will get really long. <laughs> you got so many lines after lines of just height and show, height and show, height and show, which is not very ideal. I think it's a bit inefficient. So what do we do? Let's delete this first, of course. We're not going to use hide. We're going to use a convention way. A conventional way. It's going to be really cool though. Okay. Let's consider N1 as the base. We're going to put N1 as the base image of all of the expression change. And so you can say, we're going to show N2 as... N. We're going to show it N2 as the first image, as the base line. So we're changing N1 into N2 image. Super handy. And of course, the same with N5. Uh, we're going to change it to N1 too. As N1. And you can do this for every single one of these. You can just copy paste everything and... Oops. See. <laughs> and it will work because we have the base which is N1. And we uh, replace it with what we give here. Like N2, N5. Change it into N1. I think that's really, really cool. And I think this is more efficient line-wise. <laughs> You don't need to hide again, you don't need to do that crappy stuff. This is really cool, this is really handy. Oops. Okay, let's double check. Oh, there's one missing. Double check again, double check. Everything seems to be doing well. Okay. Let's let's uh let's try. Let's reload. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Character change, character change, another change, back to back to N1, it works. You can see now the expression is changing. Cool. <laughs> this is this is the ideal way on how you do it, by the way. <laughs> I don't think there's any better way to do it other than doing this. <laughs> so yeah. <clears throat> okay. Next to next next stop, we're going to talk about another bug, of course. If you don't notice, you got these two buttons. If you click on the other side, if you don't click the button, it will skip it. <laughs> it will skip it. No matter what you do, you'll you you just like okay, correct or incorrect. Nah, I don't know. I don't think I want to click on any of these. And just click click outside. Maybe we can click on the story, and it skips. <laughs> so what's going on there? I will give you guys another question for that. Let's see. What's your guess? What's wrong with this? Why, why can't I... What's wrong with this? <laughs> I'll put the code in front too, so you can see what could be wrong here. Okay. Man, I like this interactivity. I wish we have like a live poll, but <laughs> we don't. Okay. Mm. Oh, of course. Let's test it out. Let's test uh, if you if you pick incorrect. If you click incorrect, you will jump you to what a shame. You chose incorrectly. I think that's a pun, but I don't know. You lose, you better get lost. And of course, if you click nine times and then you click incorrect. It'll jump us to what a shame. You chose incorrectly. Yeah, it works the way we want to, but if you click outside the button, it just gives us to incorrectly. So yeah, mm. that's my question. Let's see if you guys can guess it. What what's wrong with this? What's wrong with this screen? Is there a solution to this? <clears throat> Okay, I'll give you I'll I'll give you guys time again. <clears throat> Water is the best drink. <laughs> is it because the pause after the show button thing at ev at the very bottom? Is it because the pause after the show button? No. <laughs> Here, let me give you an example. If I if I just okay. You may be wondering, like, okay, let's just let's just delete the pause. Here's what happened. 
Okay, let's reload first. And then, boop. Oh, what a shame. You chose incorrectly. What? I haven't even... I haven't even chose. <laughs> I haven't even chose. So the problem is not about pausing. <laughs> As you can see, you need the pause actually. Because you gotta make sure that you show it first. And then you pause it so the game will not continue to the next label. So pausing is very much important here. Well, you can say, okay, let's just this like span pause, pause it for absolutely infinite amount of time. I'm pretty sure you can just <laughs> make sure you not be able to cross over, right? Uh, yeah, but it's not very conventional. It's not very nice, and it can get very lengthy, super fast. And if you get so many screens like this. You'll have so many paws, <laughs> which is not very ideal, of course. So, what do we do? <clears throat> uh, of course, uh, first time I got a bug like this. Uh, also, this is not a bug from the rehearsing. <laughs> the bug from rehearsing is actually this button press. But let's just continue. The <clears throat> the the problem is actually. You you haven't you haven't covered the whole screen. <laughs> you haven't covered the whole screen. This is the screen right here. You only have this button, this two button here. All of these things are in the button. You can just click away. You can just continue whatever you want. You can have all sort of stuff going on in the background. So one way to do it is actually eliminate L L M. <laughs> just destroy all of this. Make sure that all of this are covered. This is very good drawing. Oh my god, <laughs> sarcasm. <laughs> but yeah, what we do is actually cover the whole screen. Let's put image button, which cover the whole screen. And one way to do that, which we also got from the asset, is actually empty. Empty is actually, well, empty. <laughs> There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here, but the size is actually the whole resolution, 720p. So, we're going to put this as an image button. Cool. We don't need a line, so we're just going to put idle, which is empty. And an action, just to make sure that uh, we're not crashing the game or anything. We're going to make the action into doing nothing. So action, null action. There you go. What this does is, well, it doesn't do anything. I got a question right Yeah, <laughs> I wish. Finger crossed. Okay, let's actually test it out. Uh, let's refresh, let's reload. But honestly, Tim, thank you so much <laughs> for guessing. It's very nice to have some uh, user interactions. So you click, you can click whatever you want, and it will not proceed. Look at this amazing! I'm clicking, by the way. This is re, yeah, is it works? <clears throat> Oops, <laughs> it works. <clears throat> Oops, I gotta gotta go back. Oh, that's for later about skipping, but let's just go about. Let's go. Okay, you can click on whatever you want, and it will not it will not proceed to the next screen. Which is very, very handy. You will not skip anything. This is so cool. Okay. If you if you cannot hear it. <laughs> I'm me clicking. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's too much. Okay. You can say we're done. We can say this is like, okay, we have done it. We have made the image button. We have made the troll button. We have made the character. That changes uh, changes um, face expressions. Now what? You may ask. Well, 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 well. <laughs> we have more in the assets. Well, blackout, and then why only blackout? There should be one more. Uh, it's called whiteout. Where well, let's copy paste this whiteout. What this does? What I'm going to do is actually, if you scroll down here. We are missing bad end and good end. Oh no. How could a game end without ending? <laughs> okay, that's very silly. So we're going to make, of course, 
the ending. Of course, though, I don't have a proper image, so I'm just gonna go with black and white background kind of feel. Oh, actually, we haven't we haven't done in <laughs> we haven't done background. You can see it's very black. Oh, go oh no, it's very it's black. So we're going to make a background. The background here is garden, garden underscore one. We're going to garden to a bit later, it's a bit later, mm. before we end the live stream. So, scene garden one, okay. So be, so we get the bad ending. For example, we're going to make a scene. Mm, because black ending, let's go with black background. So black out. If you don't know, this black background and white background is also the same size with empty. So they have the same, um, the same size as the screen which is cool and let's go with with dissolve let's go with simple one with dissolve and <clears throat> you know what <laughs> because we're like dealing with a bit more advanced stuff let's go with more advanced dissolve so you put with big t and you put the timer here this is the t the t is actually the timer you can put Whatever time you want, like let's say one second, two second, ten, a uh, thousand seconds, you can do what, how much you want. So this is dissolve, dissolve one second. Let's go with two seconds. <clears throat> uh, let's pause. Let's pause two seconds, so the whole screen can get to black first, and then we're going to put a text. What we do is actually show text, show text, and then. Bad and oops, sorry. Show text bad and we're going to do the same thing from what we learned about line. Line 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. We're going to put it in the middle. Uh, also with dissolve, please. Yes, please with dissolve. <laughs> dissolve uh, one. Let's go with one. And then we're gonna pause. Yeah, just pause. I think that's fine. And then we're after we we pause it, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait for the player to press left la, left mouse space or enter, and then we're going to proceed, which is hide. We're gonna hide the text. High text. Uh, high text dissolve. I think high text. Bad end. With dissolve one. Eh, that works. Actually. High, just just high text. <clears throat> I think that's enough. And then we're gonna pause it by one, and then return. I'm pretty sure you know what return does. <laughs> return is returning the player to the my menu, which is cool. And we're going to do the same thing for the good end, but we're gonna change it to white out, and then good end. Nice. Okay, let's let's test it out. Let's go with uh, let's save it here. Oops, I forgot to save. <laughs> okay, let's save it here, and well, you know what? Let's go with nine nine times. Okay, let's save it here, and go with correct. Well, you saw that coming, don't you? It's your reword. It goes to the wide, and then you see nothing. <laughs> Okay, let's go with load. See what's going on, really. Let's go with incorrect. What a shame you chose incorrectly. You lost then. Bad end. Huh. Bad end. <laughs> so you may be wondering, assuming what happened with the good end back then. Well, apparently, the text is white. <laughs> text white, white text in the white background. Well, you see nothing. <laughs> You see no text, so we're going to we're going, we're going to fix that. <clears throat> and one way to do that is actually text tag. I know Tim, you have researched this before, probably <laughs> researching the text tags because text tags are so cool. You can make the alpha, the boldness of this, the color. We're going to go for real soon. CPS. Uh, we're not gonna do that. Font and italic and so on. You can 
you can look at the description down below. There is a there is the document for tax tax. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, let's change the color. Good and we want the color to be black. Color black, which is zero 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 zero, a lot of zeros six times. And of course, you have to make you close the text tag to make sure that it doesn't bug out or crash in any way. So you have to make sure that you close it. The color will be bad. So the color will be black. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, we have font here. Where is it? Font. Uh, font, font, font. There it is. We're going to use the font. Oh, yeah. This, we're going to use it. Font equals this. Close it, and we're going to close tags, uh, font. <clears throat> also, we're going to make the size big. Let's make the size equals a hundred. So to make sure that hey, you really got the good end or the bad end, and close it. Close the size. We got size. We got font. We got color. Uh, is there anything else we need? I think that's all. Let's do the same thing, let's copy paste, I'm sorry I've got to copy paste it again in here, but instead we're going to put bad end, the color is white, FFF, FFF, and, and let's restart, woohoo, <laughs> and it should work, let's correct, uh, let's go ahead and correct first then, okay, let's see, let's see. Bad end. It works. Sugoi. <laughs> it waits you until you click on it. You click on it again and it paid out. There you go. Now let's go with the correct one. And then we see the reword, the ending. Good end. Here I come. <laughs> Wait you again until you click, and it paid out. There you go. Very nice. We finished the ending. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> we got the ending here. We got stuff. So it's super cool. Yeah, we're done. We're done the ending. We got the um, the scene here, the background. Um, what else? There's actually, there's like five more minutes. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to extend this live stream. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, for this going to get a little bit, just a little, just a pinch of more advanced stuff. Okay, we got Garden 1 and Garden 2. Okay. If you notice from the live stream, hopefully the live stream record, uh, the, the application can pick up that the image, Garden 1 and Garden 2 are the same, but they have a different contrast. Hopefully you can see it though. <laughs> so what we're going, to, we're going to do is actually we're going to change the background over time. Okay, let's define it. So we're going to make an image called image called garden. This will contain, this will contain uh, Garden 1 and Garden 2 garden underscore one and then garden underscore two of course we want to make it looping we want to make it loop well first of all make sure that well we gotta make sure that it feels like you know dissolving it so let's go with dissolve so it doesn't look so weird with dissolve one uh we can put pause it's fine you can put pause just to make sure that it won't look a bit dodgy you put repeat there you go and you can show a scene as garden and you can go with dissolve here too dissolve one and what this does when you show garden it will show garden one dissolve one second, pause one second, and then show garden two with dissolve, 
and then pause one second and repeats again is going back to up so you show garden one with dissolve and so on it will repeat almost endlessly endless loop okay so we're going to reload and see how it goes oops there you go well hopefully the <laughs> hopefully it can pick up the change of color here but it is changing if you don't notice hopefully you can see it noticing hopefully you can see it changing hopefully but it's it's if you don't know if you don't notice it it's changing okay <laughs> it's changing over time one second at a time it's changing a bit so it has this dynamic background which is so cool I wouldn't say this is ATL because this is not that complicated so yeah okay that's done let's see what else can we do we have done the garden we have done oops uh, oh music oh we haven't heard a single music here we shall we shall <laughs> have music Official novel without music is just as bland as ever. <laughs> it's like cookie with no sugar. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saying that cloud is changing. That's good to know. Okay. <clears throat> this is probably... I'm sorry. I'm First of all, I'm sorry. You have been hearing my voice for one hour without background music. But now... We will have music. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me just turn it up just in case you guys cannot hear it. Okay. <clears throat> now, um... <laughs> music to MVP. Oh yeah. Let's put... Uh, play music here. Play music. We're going to put the music. Let's go with Quirk Shop. Oops, hold on a sec. <laughs> okay, let's go with Quirky Shop. Quirk, quirky Shop. <laughs> I'm waiting for Tim to notice. <laughs> to notice something. <laughs> let's go with Fade In. Fade In 1. So, uh, the music will fade in by 1 second. You can go with 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 100 seconds, 1000 seconds. We're gonna go with one second. Ah, you know that track, huh? <laughs> okay. We have this going for one second. Okay, let's keep on going. Hello, hello. I'm speaking to your player. I think this is like the comedic purpose. Let's, let's stop. Let's stop the music for... Uh, stop music fade out one second. Stop it for one second. And then speaking to your player. And then <clears throat> we're gonna play the music again. Let's change it though. Let's change the music. Into shenanigans. Shenanigans. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Man, oof. Forgot the quote. Sorry. Fade in one. There you go. Music play. Shenanigans. Fade in one second. And it will go beyond, 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 beyond until we reach the ending. Okay, let's let's music fade out. Music, no, um, yeah, stop, stop music, stop music, fade out. Two seconds because all of these are two seconds, and we're going to do the same thing on the two ending. Sure. I feel like every ending has to be like okay. Let's let's turn the music first so we can uh, enjoy this. Like oh, you win. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I just feel like it. Just, uh, stop music. Stop music, um, fade out two. There you go. Uh, double check, double check everything. Make sure that it works. Stop music, stop music. Where is it? <laughs> Can't find it. Wait. Oh, there it is. Stop music. Okay. It works. Okay. Now we're going to go. This is like, oh my god, it's been a while since we go to rent my launcher. Okay, let's go to the option. Ooh, what are we going to do in option? What we're going to do is add 
a my menu music. Oh yeah, my menu music. A my menu without music. Oh man, that's so scary. It feels so wrong. <laughs> In here, you can see the uncommented and following and defined config menu here. You can change it to. In this case, let's go with time for rest. Oh yeah, time for rest. <laughs> It's also about time for us to take rest. I feel like the live stream is about to end too. This is like we're really on the tip of it. We're, we're getting close to the end. So. Okay, let's stop the music for a bit. Really sorry for that. But we're going to reload. <clears throat> okay, let's go to my menu. That's so loud. <laughs> there you go. There's my mini music, so cool. Of course, of course, though, of course. Out of everything, there will be a bug. Once you start, <laughs> what's going on? The 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 my menu still was was still playing after you click start. What's going on? That's a bug we're going to get to later on. But before that, let's enjoy this. Oh, <laughs> the music changed. Okay, let's let's start over. Like, hello, hello. I'm speaking to your player. Silent. Oof. Spooky. And then like, oh, sorry for right for my rudeness. And it continues. So on, so on until the end of the game. So let's go. To oh my. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's uh, for another highlight of the stream. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's fix the bug. What's going on with that? What's going on with that? Well, uh, the my menu just doesn't fade out. What can we do is actually stop music. Stop music, fade out, one. On the start of the game. On the start of the game, just stop the music. Just, just stop it, stop it. <laughs> and then, later on, we're gonna play the music. The one that we want. I think that will work. Yeah. Mm. Let's start. It it works. It works. I like that. <laughs> okay, let's let's see let's see before ending so you can see that. Uh, there you go. It fade out. The music fades out. You got the bad ending. You click on it, and it fades out to the nothingness. MP quarantine. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's double check everything in case I have. Oh! There's one more. There's one reason. Another reason why we open option or RPY. Let's see if we can find it though. There it is. UI about. This is probably the most important thing to do out of every single thing. The most important thing ever. We forgot to open one more thing. Credits. Hell yeah. Stop music action. Oh wait, I'm gonna get there later. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'll propose. Okay. This is very important. You gotta make sure that you credit every single one of people that contributed to your official novel. No matter what they do. No matter how bad they do, you gotta make sure that you credit every single one of it. Okay, in this case, we're just gonna copy paste this, uh, which is fine. Copy pros here, and then we uh, we're gonna put uh, IIMO Great Institute, which is a super cool institute. You gotta check it out, guys. <laughs> it's so cool. Official novel audio audio pack from Tim, <laughs> which is on this live stream. So cool, so cool. And then Sawati, the one who made Nitori. Super cool, super cool person. Of course, we must not forget Rampy Tom. Of course. Okay, if you know if you don't notice, the writer of this asset. Uh, have put links. So what that means, well, 
we gotta make sure that when we click on the name, we get to the uh, the, the 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 web page, of course. So we're going to do that using you guessed it, text tag. <laughs> text tag, of course. Let's go. <laughs> okay, let's put the text tag of Alpha Bros here. Uh, what you do is actually put the text tag of A. A equals the link, and then make sure you close, close the text tag, and you do this for every single one of this. You can say it's tedious, but honestly, this is genuinely very important. <laughs> you gotta make sure that you, you um, credit every single one. Because after all, without these people, nothing will happen. <laughs> Your project will not be the one that you think you're... <laughs> Wait, actually wrong. Not official no audio effect, but the team. From team audio. <laughs> From team writer. Cool name. Okay, Sawati, of course. A equals this and then close it and make sure you put you, you you have to make sure that you always have to end text tag just to make sure that you don't make any mistake in the future. Of course, Ren Piton, of course, of course. A equals this and then close tag. There you go. Cool. Oops, what did I what did I do? <laughs> I'll print, I don't want to print this. Please. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's uh, reload. About section. You can see Well there's a bug. <laughs> of course, every single thing you do. There is always a possibility there's a bug. You can see other pros. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I, I am a Creative Institute, Fish Nova Audio Pack by, by Tim Rachel. Thank you. Sawati and Rampi Tong. So, let's first of all check, you know. Let's click one of these. Which is gonna be loading, of course. Twitter, offerpros. Uh, underscore. It works. So that's good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Whoa, okay. <laughs> How do we fix this? Well, it's a bit, an, it's an, oh, it's also another, another, ad, a little bit more advanced topic. But what can we do is put p equals zero. Huh? What is that? What is p equals zero? Well, it makes sure that the next line that you're going to put will be below. So you got this like alpha pros and then you p equals zero. So the next line, which is I I M O, I I M O, Creative Institute will be below the text of alpha pros. And why equals zero? Because we don't want to wait the player to to just wait they coming over. So we're just gonna p equals zero. So p for zero seconds. We're gonna wait for zero second. The last one, we don't need p equals zero, it's fine. And we can reload. It's going to show a little bit of stuff and there you go. It works! Clap! <laughs> okay, I think now that we have done the, the credits and every single one of these, um, I think we're reaching the end of the live stream. I'm really sad. <laughs> it's really sad to say that. We're reaching the end of the live stream. Also, I I hope the the music isn't too loud. <laughs> okay, let's actually double check everything. Yeah, before before going to the the homework because apparently I have homework for you guys. Three questions. But before that, let's go to question. <coughs> Let me drink first. This is going to be an interesting question. <coughs> Let's put an image. Okay. <clears throat> Could you also put a paid out action on the start button on the my menu? Yes, you can. 
you can. You really can. Need to best boost it. No, Tim, no, I don't want to best boost it, please. For the sake of everyone on this on the home. <laughs> uh you can put fatal action on the start button of the my menu. You can. Uh but yeah, we're not going for ATL because if you want to put fade out like you know this thing uh this troll button you can actually make this button also fade in fade out you it is very much possible because i've done that uh but it requires atl it requires some good at least some good knowledge of atl because you will be dealing with this thing called uh called transform and then you can do whatever you want with it <laughs> It uses transform and it, it uses ATL. But we're not focusing on that today. I'm really sorry, but for cheap, very cheap way, you can go with just this <laughs> image garden. You can kind of like, you know, idle choice, idle, you know, kind of weird. Let's go redefine ourselves with a new image here. Image, image, let's say image, image choice button, whatever that is. Blah, blah 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 and you can do whatever you want with it uh, let's say choice button uh, stuff with um, with dissolve <clears throat> it's probably possible to do that I haven't tried it yet but I think logically thinking it's probably possible so you can do that looks very fancy I guess <laughs> I think it will look look very fancy to have like a start a button on everything that has like fade, fade in, fade out, something like that. You can, it is possible, but if you want to go with complex stuff, you have to deal with ATL and transform. So yeah, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to live stream anyone. <laughs> I'm going. To, I'm not sure if I want to live stream Rampai quarantine again. I'm not too sure. Uh, who knows if I got more demands on on it. Like, hey, I want more of this. I, I want to learn more about ATL and so on. Maybe I'll do that. But for now, um, we're done with that. Actually, an, a bonus. Yeah, let's go with Encore. Uh -huh. Encore. Hmm. Put some music term there. <laughs> Sorry. Put some bonus stuff at the end. Okay. Bonus stuff at the end. Oh, boy. This, this has been like an hour, 15 minutes, isn't it? Oof. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay, this is just an additional bonus. You guys can do whatever you want with it. Honestly, in my opinion, this is going to be very, very useful. So let's say you continue this, right? Okay, blah, 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 blah. You see what the hell is going on here? <laughs> there is a text box on the way. This is not good. This is wrong. <laughs> so what can we do is actually hide the text box. Hmm. Also, this is going to be the last, last thing I'm going to teach in this live stream. So, yeah. Please look forward to this. This is going to be very simple. Oh my. Okay. First, uh, before before um before showing, before showing a dialogue, we gotta make sure you show the dialogue box first. One way to do that is actually window, window show. I say dissolve, okay, dissolve 0 0.2. Window is referring to the text box, okay, which is really cool. So you can just window ho window show and window hide, and then this is with dissolve or whatever. You don't need using width because you don't need to. <laughs> if you put width, it may crash, so just go with dissolve. Okay, what is 1 plus 1 equals? And before that, we're gonna window hide dissolve 0 0.2. So we hide the, 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 the dialog box before we uh, deliver a choice. <clears throat> and once that's done, we're going to put the dialog box again. Dialog sh window show dissolve 0 0.2. Okay, let's just copy paste this. It gets a bit, it gets a bit, eh, tedious. Window show, 
Hopefully this is not too loud as well. Let's put it 10. Okay. Mm. What else? What else? Show troll button. This is the important part. We're gonna window hide this. With dissolve 0 0.2. You may say like window hide, window show. It can get. You can make the. You can make the. The the code a little bit more complex, a bit a little bit hard to read. But honestly, I think this is the best way to just make sure that you won't have anything weird going on with the text box. It will look better, especially if you want to show screen like this. Just hide the text box, please, please. <laughs> and then like Windows show again after you hide it. And then of course, window hide. Dissolve 0 0.2 after Nitor has spoken to us. Hide it and then show the text. Text box and then hide it again. In the hide dissolve 0 0.2. We're done! <laughs> Let's test it out. Why not? Okay. Okay. First question, a warm up one. What's one plus one equals? You can see like the text box fade out, like dissolve out. I think that's so cool. Let's say window, okay? Let's just pretend, okay, window wrong, okay? That's fine. Okay, next question. Now, this is a must. You can see now, there's no more text box. There's no more in the way. Nothing is in the way. You can still click whatever you want. You will not skip it. And honestly, this is. Really cool. <laughs> and with that, let's actually do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's switched, and you can click correct, and you got the good ending. I think that is beautiful. <laughs> good end. Okay, that's that. Uh, while before before uh, ending the live stream, let's just put random music to as a background music. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's done. Let me go. Okay, mm. we're done. <laughs> Thank you so much. Did oh my God, Misa, welcome. <laughs> You're so late. Though. I'm really sorry. We're about to end the live stream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So yeah, a uh, homework to you guys. <laughs> Misa, everyone else who come uh, live stream late, you guys can uh, watch the live stream again from the start. I'm going to crop it later. It's going to be so cool. Uh, it is probably the like first time doing this. So yeah, homework for you guys. It's ranging from the easiest to the hardest. So I'm pretty sure you guys can do the first one. Second one, you don't have to. The third one is, I guess I'll just leave it to the pros. Okay. The first one, make troll button that switches two times. You know, um, this button, uh, where is it? <laughs> Hold on, I'm a bit clumsy on this. No, not here. Okay. So like last one switched, okay? You go, you, you, you get the idea, okay? Switch on the last one. And now we want to switch it two times. I'm pretty sure you guys can do it. You just have to deal with, with variables. You just tackle around with it. Just do whatever you want with it. You can make it a hundred times first, and then you can switch it, and then a hundred times to switch it back again to the second one. And the second one is make a my menu background that changes over time. This uses the one that we learned today. It's actually using the, the, the image here. The, the image garden. I'm pretty sure you guys can do that too. This can come in really handy if you want to make a my menu screen that changes over time. I think that's so cool. Last time, a last one, I'll, I'll just leave it to the pros. Make the troll button not skippable. Okay, let's see what. Why why did I say this? Okay. Oops, music overlap. Okay. Let me show you what really happened. I'm going to I'm going to put control. I'm going to put my hand on the control button. Oops, okay. <laughs> we're gonna put pick fish, pick fish, and then we're gonna control. Oh! It skipped the whole thing. <laughs> you notice that it skipped the whole thing. You keep skip 
even the troll button itself. So the question will be, well, make sure the troll button not skippable, please. <laughs> Just like the choice we had first time, it doesn't let us skip it. So this is going to be the homework for you guys. Mm. I'm pretty sure you guys at least can do the first or two, or first and two. Third one, if you want to go deeper on how screen works, on how uh, rollbacks and everything works, and scripting, you may want to deal with this stuff. You may want to try to solve it. I think this is very nice practice to learn more about screen. <clears throat> and yeah, you may be asking like, hey, you know, this is troll buttons. I don't think I will ever use it in my game. You know, it's probably very much like, I don't think it's useful, you know? Well, well I'll tell you that. Even though it's so trivial, it's very outlandish idea. It's just making this very small, stupid troll button. But honestly, I think that even though it's so trivial, this, learning this, can make you make, can you make, can make you just create more, more unique games. With this kind of stuff, you can make clicker game, you can make RPG game, like, you know, RPG, you know, have this toolbar, you know, UI with all that stuff. I think you can make that with just this idea alone. I know it looks very trivial, but honestly, learning about this kind of stuff isn't really bad because you can make more stuff with this. And with that, I am really thank you all so much for coming by. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Misa. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mike. <clears throat> thank you, everyone, for coming by. It's been super, super fun. It's been, it's been really, really fun. And yeah, with that, thank you very much.